Hi guys, today I want to take you on a tour, a uh, journey with me to Bryce Canyon. And um, I think you're going to really enjoy this spectacular footage that I was able to get because I went after a snowstorm and it was amazingly beautiful the day after and I was lucky enough to get really beautiful clear blue skies and white puffy clouds and everything you want after a snowstorm when you um, are experiencing winter in a beautiful place. So I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you watch to the end. I give you a few tidbits for your own journey uh, throughout the video. So uh, just feel free to pause the video whenever you want. I left links in the description um, below for some of these items and um, Stay tuned for a future video coming out shortly on where I actually camped and um, I was uh, in a couple different areas and so I will be coming out with some videos on these um, areas as well as um, what camping in the winter is like in Utah and um, yeah if you haven't already subscribed uh, I appreciate it, it helps my uh, channel grow and uh, share the video and uh, let me know if you've been to Bryce Canyon or one of Utah's Mighty Five or any place camping in the snow that um, is of interest to anyone else. All your comments um, will help everyone watching uh, this video learn and uh, hopefully experience these places uh, on their own. But enjoy the video and thanks for watching. See you uh, on the next trip. Gardens Trail if it's open. Um, we're at Sunset Point. And Queen's Garden Trail is right here. This is the rim. So we'll see. And depending on what the conditions are like. It's about 24 degrees out. And as you can see, they've got quite a bit of snow here. So we're coming up to Sunset Point of View. sunrise point and I just came way over there sunset point kind of cool names this is on the top of a plateau so it should be a nice view it's a lot of snow here if you step off the trail it's like up to your knees or more
Sunrise Point. This is breathtaking. I'm on Queen's Garden Trail. And I just spoke to a group of ladies that did a, um, we started at Sunrise Point and came to Sunset Point and took about an hour and they said it's beautiful and worth it. So I'm here, I might as well do this hike down into the, what do they call them, hoodoos? But into Bryce Canyon here. Wow, everywhere you turn, it's just like a different beauty. Can you get here during the winter? <laughs> I would say if you can, then do it. I don't know what's stopping you. Like this is incredible. And I am so glad that I made the journey and didn't give up despite weather conditions. Today is perfect. Yeah, so if you can hit Bryce Canyon right after a snowfall, um, you're gonna experience something really special. I'm out here by myself. I've passed a few hikers. It's just so peaceful and calm and quiet out here. Except for now, because I'm talking. Look at this. I mean, when you witness something like this, you can't help but believe that there is a God. This is just too special to ignore that. We're entering down into Queen's Garden. That's what they call it. Look at that cut through the rocks right down there. Little tunnel. I keep hearing little pieces of rock coming down. <laughs> it's a little unnerving. So as you're hiking the Queen's Garden Trail down here, you're going to come to this little crossroads right here so sunrise point is to the right queen victoria is to the left and it's just a little ways up there okay so i hiked down here to see queen victoria one of these hoodoos is supposed to look like her yeah it doesn't tell you i think it's this one i uh, can't make it out <laughs> Or maybe it's that one. Anyway, they're kind of cool, but I don't 
I don't see Queen Victoria. And then Sunset Point is back this way. So I'm, I'm not sure if this is halfway, but you can hike the perimeter trail and or the perimeter's up there and you can start on either end of the perimeter and then come out on the opposite end. What's cool about this hike is you end up down here in the trees. So, totally different terrain. You know, you start out on the top, overlooking the hoodoos, and then you're actually walking in between them and even through them as you go through some arches. And then you drop down into this tree, almost a forest area. Really remarkable. So, I just came from down there and I'm headed up. And tell me you don't do this, but you step aside on the trail to let someone pass by, but really you're stepping aside to catch your breath. That's the honest to God truth, right? So that's what I've been doing. They all think I'm super nice but I'm just stepping aside to catch my breath. Whew. That was a lot of switchbacks. these on these are like crampons because so, I intend to do some hiking in the snow here catching my breath I just want to show you these are the best thing ever these crampons I thought they were a gimmick until I've used them on this trail, best 20 bucks I ever spent.